Desertification is an issue which remains an orphan in the international uh, field. The trouble is that from the start this issue was perceived as an African problem, even though countries and wealth, uh, wealthy nations like Italy, the U.S., or Israel have historically had problems with desertification. Mm -hmm. And so now we have to um, reach a point where the amount of resources and attention worldwide going to desertification is remarkably little. Mm -hmm. The budget of the UN secretariat that deals with it is, is tiny. Mm -hmm. The grants available are small. And so I think what this conference says, it's a rare, um, continuous and, and consistent expression of solidarity with the hundreds of millions of people worldwide whose lives are affected by desertification. Desertification brings in its wake famine, refugees, cultural uh, turbulence. And I think what we're saying in Israel is, look, we have some experiences that we could share. We've made our mistakes, but we've also learned a few things. What makes Israel unique is that we are such a small country that in many areas our reality constitutes a sort of a fast forward for the world. For example, in water resources, what we're doing in terms of desalination or wastewater reuse are things that the whole world's going to be doing sooner or later. The fact that we have 74% wastewater reuse um, is perhaps a pragmatic response to our circumstances, but eventually Australia's going to go that way and Spain's already going that way. So they can come and learn from our uh, mistakes and from our successes. It's sort of a back to the future kind of dynamics. The fact that we are building solar power plants all over the world except in Israel is really, uh, it's a pity. It's a reflection of what I would say is a unfocused policies and uh, lack of political will at the highest level. Right. And I would hope that in five years we could really turn this picture around and see Israel as a place with you know, 20, 25 percent renewable energy. Yeah. I would like to see Israel as a place which has really uh, put its foot down and put an end to the slow but steady loss of open spaces. Yeah. And I'd like to say it's making another great step forward as we finally complete our national master plan for forestry. Yeah.